He's a lot, a lot of pressure, pressure for, for him right there. I know, right here. Yeah, bitch. Hit, hit. Safe. What? Wow, yeah. No what you there? Si. Se lo hizo. Se lo hizo, all right? Un, un hit. Y entró. Pintura Carrera. Wow. I told you he was gonna get it. Yeah. Whoa, well, what I said, I said he That's what the manager said. Yeah. And I called it, I called it right here. That's a good way. Yep. That is a good way to leave. Mm -hmm. If you submitted a script that read like this at the beginning of the night, people would have rolled their eyes. Yep. And yet you're not surprised. I mean, when he came up in that situation, not walking him, you wouldn't be surprised that he got hit. I think we tired teammates. Joe Toria. Yeah. 
40 years old, yeah. Family. I'm gonna keep it rolling here. Well, now, after a scenario this perfect plays itself out, can he play it that way? I would. Don't cry. to Drew at second base and there's no one on base so I was all messed up but uh, I want to thank everyone here I, I've said it time and time again everybody's saying thank you Derek and thinking of myself for what you know I'm just trying to do my job so thank you guys Derek, for 20 straight years, you've put on that uniform. Coming to the ballpark today, knowing it was the last time you were taking the field here in the Bronx and putting on those pinstripes, what was that feeling like for you? It was odd. I mean, if I'm going to be honest with you, I, I, these, these last few weeks have gotten tougher and tougher. I, I, I told you members of the media I didn't want to talk about it because I tried not to think about it. Uh, but it was very, very difficult, but uh, it was all worthwhile. You've always been focused on one thing, and that one thing has been winning and winning championships. Were you able to take a step back today and kind of take it all in? Yeah, I mean, this was this, this was a lot of fun. I mean, it's, no, thank you. You had quite the greeting community there with the 4-4 here, some of your other teammates, Joe Torrey. What was it like to see them here on the field supporting you in your final game? It's, uh, those guys are like brothers. Mr. T's like a father. Uh, the whole organization, the fans. Uh, I want to congratulate the Orioles and wish them luck going in the playoffs. Before I let you go, what are you going to miss most about this uniform and this place? Everything. But most importantly, uh, I'm going to miss the fans. They're, they're what made this special. Derek, thanks for the time. Well, now as he speaks with Susan Waldman from the Yankees Radio Network, and our own Tom Berducci is standing by for his chance to talk with Derek. People wonder, when they break down, when they cry, are his voice quivered a little bit, but that's about as close as he'll come. But I think the emotion of, uh, say, not being taken out in the ninth inning, when there would have been a lot more emotion on ending his career, <laughs> it was winning, ending the game with a game winning hit. Yeah. yeah. Brought that joy back to him. Is it going to be? Yeah. Yeah. And look at that. The swing we've come to expect from him, we've seen so many times. He leaps in the air as young Antoine Richardson comes sprinting home from second, head first dive to score the game winning run. The reaction from his dad and his mom and his sister. Dramatics without histrionics. That's been the story of his career. We saw his signature play. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Antoine Richardson's baseball career. He can tell everybody. I scored the run on Derek Jeter's last Yankee Stadium at bat and maybe his last big league at bat. CC Sabathia to embrace him. Brett Gardner. Who sacrificed Bond was essential in the end. In who Bridges in the scoring position. Here's Tom with Derek. Derek, we know you can play shortstop. Now I think we know you can write scripts. 